Sri Rama, born as a prince, born with fortune. He got the best of education those days could offer and he got coronated as the king. Everything is right at a young age. He just marries a beautiful princess. Then some political situation comes where he is banished to the forest along with his new wife. She is not an Adivasi woman, she is a princess, not cut out to live in the jungle. Maybe in your Ramanan Sagar television show, you saw Rama Sita <laughs> doing all that. So you are thinking, oh, they were on a safari. <laughs> no, 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 it's a punishment. If you don't know what I'm talking about, if we leave you for three weeks in the jungle, that you have to survive by yourself, believe me, in three weeks when you cannot come out, we cannot recognize you, you will become like that. Particularly you ladies, I'm telling you. Because Sita went, that's why I'm telling you. You will become in such a way, you will not be recognizable. Whenever I went off into the forest for weeks on end and I came back home, my parents wouldn't recognize me. Head to toe, insect bites, you know. The way you will become in three to four weeks' time, it's tough, it's hard, it's not easy. So, because both of them were banished into the forest, his brother went along just to help them out. As if this was not enough, the Sri Lankan people came and took the wife away. And uh, after all, he's a king, somebody took away the wife, means he could find some local solutions for himself. But he's not that kind. He loves his wife, loves her enough to walk 2,700 kilometers south, walking, not flying, walking. Ravana went in the airplane, Rama went walking, yes or no? 2,700 kilometers walking down south, not knowing where she is, he must have loved her that much to do that, huh? Isn't it so? Then he goes there, then he discovers where she is, they have to cross, they have to build a bridge, which is proved that it is there, and then crosses over, fights, burns down a beautiful city, kills many people, many of his people get killed somehow gets his wife back and brings her back home. Then she is pregnant, no sonogram. He does not know whether she has boys or girls or boy or girl or what, because this is important for a king, hmm? He's an emperor, for him it's important to know whether she is delivering boys or girls or what is she delivering, but he does not know. Again some situation goes out of control and he has to send her to the jungle once again, fully pregnant woman. And drama goes on. In the meantime, he is ruling without again getting married or getting engaged or anything like that, he just rules. And then a situation comes, see if anything truly horrible has to happen in anybody's life, knowingly or unknowingly you kill your own child. This is the most terrible thing you could do to yourself, isn't it? He almost killed his children. He tried very hard to kill his children, not knowing there is children. Fortunately, it did not happen. Otherwise, he would have killed them. And then Sita dies without ever seeing him in the jungle by herself. Do you call this a successful life, I'm asking? No. But we bow down to him because when all this drama was happening on his personal life, for most people if any one of these situations happen, they will be broken. When serial disasters are happening in his life, the man did not become an angry man, a resentful man, a hateful man. He remained balanced, conducted his duties as he should to such an extent when we are working for our independence in this country, for our freedom, the freedom struggle is going on, 
At that time when we say an ideal administration, we say Ram Raj. Yes? In Ram Raj, it was good for the public, definitely not good for Ram. Yes? Terrible time he is having. No matter what the world is doing to him, he is doing his best every moment of his life. It is this freedom that he has within himself, no matter what life throws at you, you are doing your best to everything around you to such an extent after six thousand years, if we say ideal administration, even today we say Ram Raj, because this is all our life is. If we are thinking that nice things should come to me, we will not do big things, either in perception or in action. Whatever comes, I will make it into a wonderful possibility. If this is there, then you step out into the world and do whatever you have to do. So it is this quality that we are bowing down to, that outside could not rule these people. Outside did many things to them, the world did many, many things to them, but it could not determine the nature of who they are. Who they are was determined by them.